Earlier, a guy brought in a collection of puppets and other stuff that supposedly belonged to a guy named Buffalo Ben. I've never heard of him, so I asked my friend Steve to check it out for me. Hey, guys. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Oh, it's really great. Here, you've got some Buffalo Bill things. I've worked in museums for over 30 years and uh, just enjoy the guy. He was one of America's most charismatic historical figures. He started out as a buffalo hunter on the plains. He was a scout for the Army, and he actually got the Congressional Medal of Honor because of his service. Wow. So Buffalo Bill really had a strong basis for a Wild West show in his background. You know, I've never heard of Buffalo Ben, but Buffalo Bill had a lot of characters, performers in his show, and we're always learning about new ones, and so I'm hoping maybe we'll find something more about this guy. You know, we have some really nice stuff linking him to 1930s circus activities. The question is, from the 1930s back to 1886, 87, was he really involved with Buffalo Bill's Wild West? This gives me a concern because, actually, this was an image used by Buffalo Bill to promote his Wild West, and the name Buffalo Bill's been taken off of here. <laughs> it's like Buffalo Ben just kind of stole it yeah. from Buffalo Bill. This other photograph here, uh, taken in 1886. This guy is a Lakota chief known as Red Shirt. He's okay. not Buffalo Ben at all. We have photographs of him. His face is pretty familiar to me. Unfortunately, Buffalo Ben was not with Buffalo Bill's Wild West. We have some really neat circus stuff. We have some authentic items, but Buffalo Ben himself isn't really authentic. He was one of these guys that created a persona for himself long after Buffalo Bill and everybody who could have contradicted him were dead. Wow. So he's. Self-made famous. Con That's artist. right. He was a legend <laughs> in his own mind. <laughs> All right, so do you think it's worth anything? It's interesting, but you don't have that strong value that you would see if he had really been with Buffalo Bill's Wild West. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming in, man. Thank you. After looking closer, unfortunately, the materials just don't fit. His stories don't fit. The photograph uh, that shows him theoretically with the show is somebody totally different. Well, apparently not in the show. Um, yeah, this, I'm not really big on this now. I mean, it's basically from a con man. But you haven't lost the battle yet because this stuff has me really intrigued. I have a buddy who just knows everything there is to know about toys. So let me get him down here. Johnny will know all about this stuff. Great. Even though Buffalo Ben turned out to be a fake, some of these old dolls could be worth a lot of money. There might just be a jackpot here after all.